Hi everyone, Lee, WW2DX, RemoteHamRadio.com. Going to do a quick tutorial on the DX cluster integration into the console. All right, so we'll get started here. We're going to go to member login. And we're going to log in. Okay, we get dropped into the console. Here are the different, uh, different stations here on the premium side. Here are the uh, tabs for the different options. We have a chat tab, we have our DX spots tab, and our station tab. Station tab will show you every antenna uh, per band at that particular station. So here we're looking at the Santa Cruz site which has many, many, many antennas on many bands. Uh, the Wyndham site, blue, main, so on and so forth. So if we go to blue here, and we click on the DX spots tab, we can see all these different lines in the map. That represents the bands, different by uh, color coded. And these are the bands that we currently have selected, 15, 20, 30, and 40. And if we add another band, that's probably a bad band to add, but 80, we can see more lines and more colors, okay? We can turn them all off by like this, and we can say, well, just show me six meter spots, right? And those are the six meter spots currently in the cluster. The other thing we can do is we can roll our mouse up and down the spots, and if you look in the map, each spot will be highlighted, so that particular spot that you're hovering over is highlighted in the map. Uh, maybe 10 meters. Let's see what 10 meters gives us a better. Okay. Here's the 10 meter spots. If we do the same thing, you can see as I move my mouse down through the list in the map, you'll see that highlighted spot. Okay. All right. Very straightforward. Now, this is all great here. You know, we're not connected anywhere, but let's, let's get connected to a station here. So I'm going to connect to Blueberry. I'm going to power up Blue. I'm going to use WebDX. Okay. So... All right, there's a W1AW slash 7 on 12 meters. We'll turn that down a little bit. So here we are. Uh, we're looking at 10 meter uh, spots at the moment. Um, so let's say there's something on 10 meters that we want to go work. Well, we can literally click on a spot, okay, and you have two options. You can tune and turn or look up that station on QRZ. Well, obviously, we want to tune and turn. And as you can see, we're on 12 meters, and our Yagi is pointed at 334 degrees towards Japan. But we're going to go towards, obviously, South America. So we're going to click Tune and Turn, and we can watch the frequency of the radio and the Yagi. Okay, so we click. Frequency changes automatically, and we switch the Yagi to that direction automatically. Okay? And if we tune... Okay, so there's the PU2. And if, let's say we go to, we add the 20 meter spots, okay? We see on 20 meters, let's see here, 20 meters is Echo uh, Germany 5. So if we click this, tune and turn, sure enough, we go to that frequency. Okay, and we, as you can see in the map, the rotor is turning to that station. Okay, very simple. We'll turn this down a little bit, and a few more things to go over. So we, these are filters by band. You can filter by where the DX is uh, to be shown, where it's spotted, and then who is spotting that DX. So right now, I just have North America. So only, so only North America spots spotting DX are going to be shown in my list, but you can turn all that stuff on or off your choice. If you don't want the map uh, lines in the map, you can simply just click this little checkbox and it'll just turn the lines off inside the map. Okay, and that's it. Very straightforward. So that covers the uh, station and the DX spots uh, uh, tabs functionality. Again, this is the first roll of this, but and it should improve over time, but have fun. Good luck DX and 73.